Hey everybody, this is Monique's Jewels. I thought I would come in. Tomorrow is Chanel's um, induction date, so I'll probably be tied up, but I would welcome everybody's emails about any pricing on um, what I'm getting ready to show you here in just a few minutes. I don't get to go live very often, so a lot of people have never really seen me to speak of. Um, so when I start going lives, you guys will get a lot more used to my face and um, be able to recognize me in a crowd. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna get started here. Um, I have some sterling. Uh, some of you girls have seen these pieces. Some of you guys have seen these pieces before. I also have a little, um, just a small lot of alpaca and I'll probably just put it in a lot and sell it for a few bucks. So I don't know if you guys can forgive me if I don't do the gram weight. These pieces are not that big. Um, I'm going to price them to where I think that they will sell. I've been looking at other people and I think my prices are pretty low. Um, unfortunately, I can't do auctions, but I definitely um, can do, of course, these sales through the videos. So I wanted to say thank you to everyone that subscribed. Um, if any, like I said, if anybody has any comments or questions, let me know. If you would like to purchase any of these pieces, I would appreciate it if you guys would comment below in the comment section with the timestamp. That way other people that are watching the video can look in the comments and say, oh, that's already spoken for. Um, after you do the comment, you can always email me. Um, so I know there might be some people that just don't want people to know they're buying something. Um, if you will email me, if it's that big of a deal, if you email me, I will come back onto the comments and say such and such is spoken for. And just keep doing it that way. That's the way I've been doing it. So with that being said, it has warmed up here. We're going to have a smooth ride to Indy in the morning. We'll be getting up early and leaving about 6. So we will hopefully have baby pictures tomorrow night. And um, with an induction, you just never know. So, you know, give me a few days if you guys purchase anything. Most of the things that have been purchased, they're all out. They've all been shipped. I mean, the things that people just purchased yesterday have been invoiced and shipped. So if anybody has an invoice that they haven't paid, you're gonna get your package. So I'm just, I know my subs are very honest people and loving people, so get it paid as soon as you can. If you can't pay it right now, just let me know. Um, I have some people in my file cabinet right now that I'm just kind of bundling, because they don't, their things aren't that, you know, a couple of them have things about $20, some are lower than that. So if you ever want to do a bundle, that's fine. Just let me know. Okay, you guys, so good to see you. I am just thrilled of the way the channel is growing. And as soon as I get back from the baby things and the baby's here, I'm going to try to get a better internet service. So we'll discuss that later on, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with the video. So please don't get vertigo. I'm getting ready to pull it down so we can see it. Bye guys, here we go. Okay. Here we go. This of course is my email address. And, um, whoops, sorry. And there's a second one that I always tend to put on there, but you can use either one. So I got to see close up here, so I'm going to take these glasses off for a while. All right, first thing I'm going to show you guys is the alpaca. We'll get that out of the way. These pieces are beautiful. Um, there's that. This is the front. These are approximately, let me get my instruments out. These are approximately 
an inch and a half, I would say. Yeah. Yep, an inch and a half. There, that um, abalone, mother of pearl, with the white enamel. And I'll show you the whole, the whole little lot that I have, and then we'll price it that way. Next, we have these beauties. Aren't those pretty? The design is just spectacular. And these are definitely alpaca. I don't think you can read it. It's stamped on there, but you know what? It is like faded. Oh, I can see it on the bottom here. It actually says Alpaca Mexico, but it's almost cut off. I think they make this out of sheets of the metal and then stamp it at different areas. So many inches, they stamp it. Those are beautiful. Those are like, let's see if I can get it. The lighting good here. Just a beautiful blue and green. And those two are about the same length. Um, this is a uh, alpaca ring. It's kind of rough, but I mean, that's just the way it is. And I do believe this is an older piece of turquoise. This actually has, I think this is the Hecho mark. Let me look. Yes, this says Hecho in Mexico, I think, and then it's alpaca. So, we got this ring here. It's kind of a masculine ring, but it's really cool. And it is a size, let's see where the nine starts, right there. This is not quite a nine and a half, it's very close. So it is larger. It's about nine and a quarter. I used to pop my knuckles, so that's why these, these are bigger, a lot bigger than they should be. Isn't that pretty? And I'll show you the turquoise up close. There's that. And then we have the little sombrero man with the inlay turquoise. This is marked here. This is I think this just says Alpaca Mexico. These are old pieces. Yes, Alpaca Mexico. And it's got a bird or something as a sign. Um, it's faded because it's so much older. This might be one of the older pieces that I have. So we got the Sombrero Man. And he's just doing all kinds of stuff. He's taking a nap. I think he's going to work here. And then he's beating a donkey. That's not very nice. Um, not beating him, but he has a stick. And then we have him. Looks like he is. It's pretty cool. It looks like he is actually at work pulling something off of a bush right there. Okay, so we've got that one. And then we have this beautiful bangle. And it has like the, um, I don't know if that's a leaf. Um, and it actually says, uh, let's see here. It says something right here. These are fun. I love these pieces. It says, Hecho in Mexico. Now this says Hecho in Taxco. Taxco. And it's a beautiful size. It's a beautiful piece. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. My goodness. So what we have are really distinct pieces. We have the earrings. We have the ring. We have the bracelet. And we have the bangle. Okay, so I was thinking of doing like $10 a piece, and I would do, let's see, $40 for the set, 
no, let's do $10 a piece and $35 for the whole, the whole set. So I hope that sounds good. Um, the pieces that I have of the Alpac, I have a bunch that I have put up that I would like to keep. A little dainier than these. Um, let me get a drink here. Yeah, the minute I start moving stuff around, I sneeze. Ugh, that water is so good. Okay, next we've got some bracelets. These are all sterling. Um, we have the heart. The other heart I put into the um, giveaway. There's that. The other giveaway. There's that. This is the cyan. This is a beautiful, it's like a cross heart and then a little pink crystal heart. And this is the dolphin. And I can actually measure these for you guys um, as far as weight. But like I said, I'm just not selling them for like a scrap lot. I think that's what a lot of people are doing on Shop Goodwill. Um, Shop Goodwill is very disappointing. Um, I can get little bitty lots. I can't get a big lot to save my life. Um, I'm not I'm not going over 60, 60 bucks for a 10 pounder. I'm, I'm just not going to do it. I'm sorry, but um, I've got a huge box about 10 pounds of craft jewelry, I don't need any more. I just don't. See, maybe. Me... <laughs> so I was very disappointed because I wanted to get a thread up box I didn't get. I wanted to get a blue box I didn't get. And then on Goodwill, I just put my foot down. So we're gonna do some sterling today. I have some more sterling coming. I did very well. Okay, this one is about six and a half. So just almost six and three quarters. Let's just say six and a half. So, and this is, let's put this here. This is really pretty. Sometimes it's hard to see how pretty that silver is while it's on this creamy tablecloth. I got a padded tablecloth. That way things aren't banging loud. Plus I have a um, um, towel underneath so we don't have a lot of noise. Because that was really bugging me. I want everything to be calm and quiet and nice. Okay, this is this is grams. So this one can't be over. Yes, this is right at two grams. It is a Figaro. It's a shorter one, but a lot of people wear my size. Very very nice. So I'll put this over here by the alpaca. This one I'm gonna do 12 on. This next one is a beauty. Shoot. This one is, I keep moving the ruler, I'm gonna use it. Quit moving it. Put that right there. This one is right at seven inches, maybe just a sh tad shy of seven. It's very pretty. I'll show you the lacy back on it. Isn't that neat? There's the front. There's this. It's very, very pretty. It is, let's see. This is seven grams. And I'm gonna put 15 on this. Very, very pretty, right at seven inches. And if I have to go into a second video, I don't mind. This actually says Siam. I think it says Siam Sterling. Yes, it does. And it says it right there. And it is just darling. It has kind of a bluey enamel. And it has the picture of the little girl and the guy throwing thunderbolts. Th thunderbolts and she's catching them. It's just darling. This is a very nice older piece. This is right at seven inches. And I'll show it to you here real quick. 
This is pretty. Very old. Very, very old. And it is, it says seven grams. Let me make sure that's on zero. Yes. This is seven grams, so I'm gonna do 17 on that because of the vintage. And it's authentic. Okay, this one's a bit longer and it's very pretty. These are all sterling. Okay, if that goes into the, this is right at seven, little over seven and a half. Um, I, I just wanted to show you that this is sterling. So if anybody ever has any questions, I'll come and make a video and test the items. So this is what, seven and three quarter approximately. And I'll show you the back. Back is cool. Um, the pink stone, glass stones. Let me turn on Jimmy, goodness gracious. The glass stone are open. The little stones are not stones on the hearts. They're just little raised indentations there. And we have the, I think we used to call it pink ice, that pink crystal that everybody was just crazy about. Okay, let me test this real quick. Nope, it's just glass. Okay. That is glass. And it is six grams. And we'll put 15 on that one. It's very, very pretty. This one I love. It's got a little heart. Oops. It's got a little heart on it. See if I can show it to you. Right there. And it has a 925 on the heart. Yes. And we have dolphins. And it is really dainty and pretty. And it is. Right at seven inches. Yes, perfect. Okay, I'll show it to you real quick. It's just beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and it is seven grams. So most of those are pretty well the same, pretty, pretty much the same weight. I'll get those over to the side. Okay, next we have let me clip these down real quick so I can put something in the center here to show. Next, I have a set. It's carnelian. I'm looking for the... I've tested these. I know it says it somewhere. A lot of times it'll be inside the bale. Um, I think it's on the... I don't know where it is, but if anybody has any questions, I will test it for you. I'll get Jimmy over here, and we'll do a test on the stone from the back. Make sure it's not just glass. Let's see what it's doing. Hmm. Where is the earring? There it is. Good. There we go. Okay, it's going up to, let's see, chiropraise. Come on, guy. Right at tourmaline and up a little bit. Hmm. 
I'm working it. Yep. So that's just to prove to you that it is not a stone. I mean, that it is a stone. <laughs> Duh. That it is a stone. Whoops. That means I hit the sterling somehow. Come on. It is just not wanting to test. Not only. Oh. Dang. Going it. I might need a new thing already. I'm going to be mad. Let's see. I mean, that's a pearl. Let me check these real quick. What they do? Okay, that's better. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to be on tourmaline or if it should go up a little bit higher, but I have this sterling set here. With the carnelian, um, oops, let me weigh it for you real quick. Oh, there it is. Okay, that was already on something. Okay, so the gram weight on this is 13, 13 grams. these kind of like this. It's a real pretty set. So I will put 20 on that. And like I said, just comment below the timestamp. And if you want to email me, that's fine. But we need to know in the comments who's getting what and when and where and why. Okay, next, I have a pair of earrings. They are definitely pearls. The stone, you know what? I don't think I've tested these stones. Let me get on my glasses here. Hold on. Let's see if I can get that on the stone. Let's do it like this. Oops. I can't. It's like too close up. Okay, let me see if I can do it. No. No. These might be CZs. I don't know. No, I guess they're not. They're not weird. <laughs> that is crazy. That is so hard to get that on there. Rut row. Okay, another diamond. I think I'll just put them over here. I have no idea how much to charge for those. Usually I keep my diamonds that I find. If anybody's interested in these beautiful pearl and diamond earrings, please let me know. I've come across some really nice earrings. So, if anybody's interested, let me know, and we'll work out a price. How does that sound? And these, gram weight or wise, these are... I was getting ready to tell you guys I bought these at a higher price because they had diamonds, and I was getting ready to get really mad. Uh, $3. I mean, 3 grams. $3. 3 grams. So, instead of getting these for, like, the 3 gram price, a little lower... I had to pay like an extra 20 bucks because they had the stones and um, cause I buy them in groups, like a big lot. 
So that's nice to see. Okay, let's put Jimmy over there. Next, we're going to do, let's see, let's do a couple of pendants. This is a dolphin pendant. It's very pretty. It's, it's what they, the mommy and baby dolphin. And then I've got, let's see here. Let me show you this one. I don't know if I've ever shown anybody the little butterfly. And then, let's see. What else here? Oh, and this. Let's check this stone real quick before I even show it to you. I think this is glass. You know, it happens a lot with, well, maybe not. What do you guys think? It's faceted on the back. It's really, really pretty. That's coming up. Could it be an aqua? This can't be an aquamarine. It's huge. Can't be. Oh, boy. Let me see. This is kind of fun, you guys. Let's see what this goes to. Let's see. Where is aqua? Oh, aqua's way over so it's not coming up as aqua, I don't think. It's coming up as, could it be a faceted dyed, um, no. Could it be a blue, light blue tourmaline? I don't know what it is. It's very pretty. So I'll show them to you here. Put that over like that. Okay, so what we've got, we have the dolphin with the little one here. Then we have, what happened? Let's turn it so people can see. Then we have the butterfly. It's like a sterling silver, um, what would it be? Like a toe ring or a pinky ring. Um, very, very pretty. Over here. I'll show it to you. Right there. Isn't that gorgeous? Just too cute. It is a tiny size. Oh my. It is. It fits my pinky, so it's got to be right at a three. And to fit a toe, it could be probably fitted to about any toe. So I'm going to put, let's see, let's put $7 on the butterfly, and it is. It is right at, right at one gram. Next, of course, we have, where'd it go? We have this, this is so pretty. And the marking on the back. It's just marked as 925, but it's just so sweet. Be a nice birthday gift for somebody. I haven't even shined it up yet. Mama and baby, and it is two grams, and we'll put ten dollars on the dolphins. Isn't that precious, and this one, since I really think it's a stone, I don't think it's glass. I thought for sure it was. I've run into that so much with some of this older jewelry. My mother had a beautiful purple stone ring, and I. I think she even thought it was amethyst, but it wasn't. It was glass. Okay, I cannot prove what this is. So, didn't move. So this is approximately an inch. The stone is about a half an inch and a kind of a square with the emerald cut. And on this side, we've got... You can see where it's faceted. It's very, very, 
don't know why they would facet a piece of glass. You know, I mean, I've seen it. This is six grams. No, it's not. It's five. Yeah, it's five grams. And let's put 15 on it. That's gorgeous. Nobody's going to come up to you with a Presidium gem tester and tester stone while you're wearing it, I don't think, anyway. Okay, next we have a really pretty ring. And it is actually a real pearl in this beautiful, almost like a signet ring setting. Um, look at the texturing around the circle. Isn't that beautiful? This is a beautiful ring. Um, it does have a little banging. Of course, it's sterling. It's just a little bit of wear. I think probably for me. Um, this is kind of a catch and release. This is definitely 925. It says right there. Let's see. Yes, it's a beautiful piece. Very gritty pearl. I will measure it for you real quick. This should be right at a nine. And it's nine and a quarter. These things are hard to tell. Isn't that pretty? Look at the shine on that. That's like an ivory white colored pearl. It's beautiful. And it is six grams and I'll put 20 on it. Okay. All right. We're at 31 minutes. I think I'll do just a couple more and then we will start on part two, if you guys don't mind. Okay. The next one I have, I'll put it here. It is a seagull brooch. Oops. Come back up here. There we go. That's what those prongs are for. Um, it is 925. Let me check it, make sure it doesn't say sterling. There is no maker's mark. I was very shocked. Yes, this one actually says 925. This one is four grams. I'll show it to you one more time. And I think I'm going to put $7 on him. He's just beautiful. Look at that. Alrighty, he is, he's got long wings, he is three, let's see, over two inch span, about two, almost two and a half, yes, he's very, very precious, alright, one more, what can we do, let's see, let's do these, these are beautiful, these are screw back earrings. They're marked sterling. There is no maker mark. Whoops, as I drop them. These have marcasites that are super shiny. These are a shiny, silvery marcasite. I have checked these over twice. And I have not seen any missing. I think these are quite a vintage pair. I'll show you the shine on them. That's pretty. Um, I'm just, I, I just think they're spectacular. There's the back. It says sterling right there. I absolutely did test them. And these two together are six grams. I'm gonna do, let's see, on these, let's do 15. Now they're screw backs, let's do 12. Love them, okay. All right, you guys, we're gonna stop here. Um, comment below the timestamp, please. You can always email me with any questions. Um, I probably won't get anything shipped out till Wednesday or Thursday since we're having baby tomorrow. And um, let me get part two finished and uploaded also and we will talk to you guys here in the next video coming up thanks so much for subscribing watching 
liking and the channel, like I said, is blowing up and it's just fabulous. Okay, on to part two. Thanks, guys.